Hello everyone, let's understand the concept of child objects in this video. What are child objects? As the name suggests, child objects means the object of its parent object. Okay, so child objects is a method in QTP that can be used in two ways. The first one is child objects with blank parenthesis. The second one is child objects with a parameter okay so that this parameter is an object okay so let's say this is one page which is your parent object okay and in this page you have two radio buttons one edit box and let's say two link here okay now if we use the child objects like this like this page dot child objects so this child objects will return you one two three four five five type of objects why because this method will return all the child objects of your parent object irrespective of their classes instead if you use this child object page dot child object ob and here object and within this object let's say i pass the link okay it means it will filter out the object based on this thing so this will return two because we have two links on this page okay in this two manners you can use these child objects these child objects will return a collection of an objects okay let's say this returns a five object so this contains a five object in its collection zero one two three four now if you want to access these objects you can access them by its index number okay so it here maybe it radio button here one radio button here here is edit box here is link one and another link here now if you want to use you need not to define the properties of this objects again and again you can directly access by the index of this collection okay let's see this from the qtp okay we have this login.html application so we'll use the child objects on this page okay so this is uh, the script that we have the first line browser dot page dot child objects it means it will return all the objects of this page okay and we captured it into this all object which is a collection of an object now you can use this collection with the other methods like all object dot count so let's execute this code let me comment the other codes Okay, now if I execute this, see it will return 23. Why? Because on this page, 23 types of objects are there. It can be edit, button, text, this table, this line, okay, irrespective of their class. Okay, now here you can filter out these child objects. How? We have created this DP here, okay, for web edit type of class now in this text look at this text here in the child objects methods we have passed this edit object okay now if you use the message box let's say we'll use the message box for edit object it will return you the two count the first one is 23 for all the object now let's see two why because on this page we have two type of edit boxes okay so child objects with the parameters works like this way now if you want to perform the operation on any of the object okay you can do it let's delete this line okay so what i did i have collected this count into a variable and we have iterated it from 0 to minus 1 why because the index start from 0 to 1 now here we use this object edit object and pass the i for each index and whatever the operations that you want to perform on that object you can apply it we want to set the value so in this case it will set the test in both the edit boxes now if you execute this code so 23 first one now see here it executed the test and test in this code okay so these are the two way to use the child objects in the qtp thank you